Um, first and foremost, welcome to Weather on Mesa and Longhouse Tour on at Mesa Verde. How Check the bears out of these things this year. The ancestral Puebloans did live in the Mesa Verde area from about 550 to about 1180 AD. Excuse me, 1280 AD. I apologize. Um, so just over 700 years. Initially they were living up on the mesa tops and farming up there as well and then for about the last 100 years or so they did move down into the alcove dwellings and set up their homes, the cliff dwelling homes, down in that area. And wow, we're coming to an opening here. Look at this. We're on a cliff's edge. Oh my god, there it is, holy crap, unbelievable. How many rooms there are here? There's 150 rooms and 21 kivas. And how many families? You Approximately 25 to 30 families. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. The folks just want to move down just a little bit into the shade so we have room for everybody coming down here. Welcome to sit down on these chairs. So one nice thing about this alcove is you can sit on the top and not feel free that, and not have fear that you're going to break it. <laughs> okay, so before we continue on to the discovery element of this site, we, um, you see the chinking examples in this wall here? You got your little teeny stones um, stuck into the mortar. Looks like they have fires up here too. Here's where the springs came out. See, it's really lush. Here's the picture window. And maybe one here as well. There's going to be a handprint up here. Um, what's interesting about that handprint is some paintings. Can you see how many figures there is? Five. Six. six. There are six. That is a polydactyl, um, a polydactylism handprint. Here's one of the kivas, and uh, you can see there's a, uh, a fireplace, and the opening for that fireplace is right there. 
Okay, now I'm heading to the Badger House community. Okay, let's go check out the Badger House community. Oh my God, look at, look at this. This is the uh, a fireplace again here with the smokestack right there on top. There's a little uh, more wall left on in this structure. And there's a squirrel. <laughs> tunnel entrance. Uh, the Kiva Tunnel, now closed, runs more than 40 feet under the plaza to a hatchway in the tower floor. Wow. The tower may have provided a staging area for more dramatic ceremonies. And there's the drawing of it. So evidently there was a, a tunnel from here to the tower over there. I'll wait here for you while you go down and get a picture and look around a little bit. He's going to stay here and wait for us while we go down and take a look at the overlook. There's a house down there called the Kodak House. At the time, the Swedish scholar Gustav Nordenskjöld discovered it in 1891. The Kodak House was already extensively looted. 